Brett Ruby from Missoula, Montana, and I'm going to read to you a moon song for Tumbleweed. A young marmot walked out of the warmth of his high mountain den. The sky was big and blue, and the meadows were bustling with the sounds of birds, bees, and swaying trees. The marmot grew as he played in the wildflowers and as he ran over and under ancient lichen-covered rock towers. The high mountain life, a marmot's life of happiness. However, this growing yellow-bellied critter dreamed of traveling as he listened to his family and friends whistle and chirp in a world above the clouds. One early morning, the marmot left the den and rambled down the majestic purple Rocky Mountainside toward the yellow waves of tall grass in the prairie below. The smells were different. The sounds were different. The sun was higher and the breeze was warmer through his curious whiskers. He felt alone and scared as the sun went down over the high mountain peaks where he was from. He did not have a nice warm den to crawl into and he missed his family. As the moon started to rise, he noticed that his furry little head felt heavier. Something was starting to poke up from behind his little ears. Oh, hi, you're still here. I'll continue. A young coyote peeked around a clump of tall grass at the marmot, just as the moon jumped up into the starry sky. All was quiet as the marmot and the coyote stared in wonder at each other. The coyote looked away and up to the moon. Coyote tilted his head back and let out a loud, Ow! The marmot ducked his head under the grass and shivered at the sound he'd never heard before, the coyote's moon song. Coyote laughed and rolled in the grass. What are you afraid of, marmot? When we see the moon, we want to sing to it. We need to sing to it. Sorry, I was working on my TikTok. Let me continue. What do you do when you see the moon, Marmot? What does your moon song sound like? Coyote asked. Marmot said, I don't know. On the mountains where I come from, when we see the moon, we know it's time to go to our den. It's time for sleeping. No, 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 said Coyote. The moon wants to hear your song. We need to find your moon song, Marmot. The Marmot scratched at the little bumps growing behind his ears. 
he noticed that they were now taller than his ears and pointy. Hi again. The marmot looked up at the moon, shiny and bright. He took a deep breath and tilted back his little head like he saw a coyote do. The moon song that came out of marmot echoed across the wide prairie. Yodelay he, yodelo hoo, yodelay. Falling in love. Hi there. Let's skip to the next section. Coyote's eyes were so big, they reflected the light of the moon as he looked up at Marmot. Marmot stood taller. Marmot did not scratch at the bumps behind his ears. Marmot had grown a full set of antlers after discovering his mountain song to the moon. Coyote howled, ow! Marmot yodeled, yodel a wee! Coyote, you're my new friend! Marmot and Coyote continued their moon song in harmony late into the night. After they'd finished their bojangled prairie rhapsody, Coyote said to Marmot, I'm gonna name you Tumbleweed because you drifted along onto my prairie and by golly, you found your moon song. When the coyotes howl their moon song, they sing to celebrate the moon and their friendship with the yodeling marmalope they named Tumbleweed. Ow! Listen close. Under that same moon, if you hear a yodel coming down from the mountains, another marmot has found his moon song and his antlers. Yolo!